I'm sure that you've noticed that your column headings, when you run your SQL statement, have the same heading as the column name in your table. Well, if you want to display an easier to read or even more friendly heading, then what you can do is called alias your heading. All you have to do in your SQL statement, after the column name that you want to change, is add in the new heading. Now, if your heading is made up of more than one word, you need to either surround it with single quotes or square brackets. Let me show you. Right now we're taking a look at the employees table and we can see the first name, last name, and title. Well, instead of having the heading as title, which is also, again, the name of the field, I want it to read job title. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is actually optional, is add in the keyword there of as, A-S. Then I'll type in a space, and inside of single quotes, I will type in job title and close my quote. So now when I run this, you can see in my result set, the heading is now job title. It hasn't changed my column in the underlying table at all. It's just how it's displayed. So again, job title is two words, so it's in single quotes. But like I mentioned, you can also have it inside of square brackets. And when you run it, you get the same result. Also, like I mentioned, as is optional. So if I take out as and run this, you'll notice that it still executes and I still get the same result. All right, let me add in one more column. I'm gonna add in the title of courtesy column and I'll do that right before first name. Now, when I run this, title of courtesy is really long. The heading there is really long. So I just wanna change that to title. So what I'll do before my comma, after title of courtesy, I'll type in a space and then the word title. Now, since this is only one word, I don't have to have it surrounded by quotes. I don't have to have it surrounded by square brackets, although I could, but I don't need to. And remember, I also don't need the keyword there of as, although as does make it easier to read and understand. I'll go ahead and run this. And you can see now in the results, the heading is now title. So through this course, you're going to see me alias column headings, especially when creating expressions or using functions to create columns. So for a more user-friendly heading, just alias your columns.